Hello. Okay, so let's make some breakfast because I am starving. And we just got back from being outside walking the mutt. People keep telling me not to not to call my dog a mutt, but it's true, he is a mutt. He's not a purebred. So I thought if you're not a purebred, you're a mutt. And when I say mutt, I don't mean like I don't know if that's supposed to mean like low class or if it's supposed to mean like, I don't know. What is it supposed to mean? What's so wrong about saying mutt? I always say mutt and I say it with love. Like if I don't call you an, a nickname, then I must not really love you, honestly. Take offense if I call you by your actual name because that means I have way too much, well, that means I'm not comfortable around you. So anyways, we just got back and now I'm going to make a little breakfast. I'm going to show you guys my classic breakfast. This is not my classic breakfast, but I'm going to pretend it is. Hold on a minute. Okay, so I'm back. So my biggest pet peeve in life is when people do not clean off counters or surfaces, like any kind of surface, if you don't wipe it off, that's just my biggest pet peeve. But anyways, um, someone cooked for me last night. And this is how they left the stove. Let me show you guys. Um, the grease is everywhere. Uh, so yeah, that's my biggest pet peeve in life. But hey, the food was delicious, so I'm not gonna complain too much. I'm just gonna clean that up. And then I'm gonna make myself my breakfast because I am seriously I just don't understand how people can't like clean as they go or be like clean about how they cook. I just really don't understand that. Because I am a very clean cook. So, yeah. Oh, and also, I just got like a random message like when I was like outside walking my mutt. I got this random message from this person saying that someone had something about she just found out that, hold on, that she just found out that her boyfriend cheated on her and she wanted someone to talk to and I'm like, I sure hope that I don't know you because how do you have my number? Okay, no seriously. Um, I was just like, um, who is this person? Cause I, it's not even in my area code. And I'm like looking up the area code and it's out of California and I'm not in California. <laughs> so I'm like, um, girl, how did you get my number? And who are you? Did you mistype this number? Cause I don't know you. <laughs> I, I think sure hope we not talking to the same man. And if we are, I don't know what to tell you because I'm not, I don't know what to say. I ain't done nothing. <laughs> okay, I need to stop. I'm sorry. I just be getting so carried away sometimes. Like, I just don't even know what be happening in my life, really. So, I'm going to clean off this stove really quick. <sighs> this is not very quick. I wish I could just snap my fingers and it'd be done. Like cleaning for me is such a waste of time. Like, do you know how many companies I could have built by now if I wasn't cleaning all the damn time? Something smells in there. And it's like, how can you be this dirty when you cook? I'm just so angry right now because I am so starving like when I'm hungry I just want to eat you guys know that feeling like when you um wake up and you're just like super hungry even though you had like a good meal before you went to bed like you just like don't understand why you're so hungry dude it used to suck like when I was like in my teenage years like when I was like 18 I would say like 18 through 20 was suck because I will wake up oh, no. I would wake up and I would just be starving, like, like I had an eight. 
kind of hunger like like I hadn't ate in like three days or something and now that I'm older like I don't wake up like that thank god like I, I'm just not remembering that but I used to really wake up and just be starving starving like I don't even understand how anyone can <laughs> was it just me or did y'all feel like that too because I know I wasn't the only one. I, I think it must be like the metabolism at your age at that, that point in your life because I'm like, there's no freaking way. Like I will wake up and I will have to be like eating like a full course meal. And people will look at me and they'd be like, like at work, they'd be like, they'd be like, dang, like you're hungry. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like starving. I don't know how you're not hungry. Like, nah, I don't eat breakfast or whatever, but yeah, I used to be that type of hunger, that type of hungry in me. But I'm going to start vlogging again because I kind of stopped and I'm going to start doing it again because I be having things to get off my chest. So many things. And I just be kind of like talking to myself about it, really, because... I don't know I just haven't been in a very like carrying my camera like it just be there I just stopped I don't even understand why like I just stopped and honestly like even though nobody can hear me like right when I'm talking you know like it just feels very therapeutic to like get it out to just express yourself Gotta dream that one day I'll be Oh my gosh, that was bad. Okay, I'll just be back when I'm done cleaning because this is too much. I'll be back when I actually start cooking. Alright, um, I'm back. Better than ever. Did you guys hear when the Shakuri, they were like, um, oh, you're back or something because, you know, her whole incident with the... <laughs> Um, and she was like, I'm not back. I'm better. I was like, yes, girl. Talk your... <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh. This person literally left me a drip. Well, that's all I need anyway. So I'm going to go do this. And then we have all our veggies cut up already. So now we just need to saute them. Now, I'm going to throw in some spinach real quick so we can get our green. Oh my gosh, this might be too much. Look how much I put in there. Like, what am I thinking? I'm making a salad or what? I do not want no salad, bro. What is that? I don't want no salad, nah. Okay, whatever. All right, so now that that's done, you're gonna put the little veggies like, like this, okay? And try to put a little more oil if you have any. I don't have any, so I'm gonna just do that. And then now you're gonna pour in your eggs that you already whisked, like this. And I'm having four eggs today because I'm hella hungry. Usually I have three, but no, uh, that's cap. I usually have four but I've been trying to limit myself to only eating like three eggs so I don't know why I've been doing that but I have and I always like to add um what's it called what is this um cayenne 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 I like to add this stuff in here and then I always like to add a little salt and pepper my mom always never added salt in her eggs, and so I was always like taught that you shouldn't do that. But then when I started dating this one guy, he told me that he likes salt, and then I kind of started doing that, but um, I really think I shouldn't do salt today. I mean, it's not even that bad, because I only ever put salt in my eggs, really. I know you guys, you guys are probably thinking like, wow, my, my food be tasting hella bad. And I do. Okay, so 
we're just gonna let it sit in here for a little bit because right now she still wanna like she don't wanna be touched. So we're gonna leave her alone for a little bit. Oh, and I forgot I want a little cheese in it too today because I wanna be hella unhealthy. Does cheese ever smell like booty to y'all? Like, I don't know. There we go. I don't know what's going on with this breakfast today, but it's really technically not even breakfast, it's lunch. It's already 1.20 p.m., so it's not breakfast. Okay, so anyways. Okay, I should leave it alone because she really do not want to be touched. Oh, snap, I'm going to burn my camera. Shit. Hold on, y'all. Okay, here we go. All right, now... I'm just gonna set y'all here because so you guys can see what I'm doing. So right there. Okay, so anyways. Okay, let me show y'all what this is looking like. Here are my little eggs. I don't know, this is just how I like to eat personally. That's how I love to eat my eggs. I'm gonna lower this down so that way this is not just, you know, sitting, getting cold. Because I have stopped away from my comal. And if you're wondering what a comal is, that's um, basically saying a skillet. But we call it comal for our tortillas and crap like that. Okay, so, anyways. Um. So what you do is, for making matcha, all you need is, let me turn on the light because you guys can't even see me. All you need is you put a little water in your bowl, just a little bit. And then with my little kit, they gave me this little thing off of Amazon. Um, this is where I got this and also my matcha. And I kind of while out. They say you're not you're only supposed to do one, but I do like two of them. Sometimes really I put like two and a half. So I do that. And then my whisk is all janked up. She's just I don't know what's wrong with her, but she's going through it in life. Um <laughs> I should get a new one, but um, this one's still working. She's hanging in there somehow. So um, let's not think about that right now because thinking about it is stressing me out. All right, so what you do is you just want to whisk your little thing like this. And when you're done whisking it, it's going to turn into this little frothy um, mixture. Like it's just going to be frothy. Um, yep, I did describe, just use the word to describe the word. Yep, that's what I do. Um, okay. So anyway, once you do that, see, the, the whisk is, she, she seemed like she's better now than when we first started. That's why I said don't focus on that. So anyway, this is what it's going to look like. I hope you guys can see. This is what it's going to look like. And then... What I like to do with mine, honestly, I like to, this freaking camera. What I like to do is, personally, personally, I prefer mine cold, but I don't have any ice, so I'm gonna just have to drink it hot. I prefer my matcha like an ice matcha. So then what I do is I just add a little bit more into the, I add the rest of the water into the cup. And then I do like to drink mine with milk, but preferably oat milk, but I don't have that right now. So, um, I just deal and use regular milk. So I'm gonna just use some regular milk. Bam. And then I have this little spoon that I got in my kit, and then I just mix. And then yeah, that's it. That's all it takes. And the thing I like about matcha is that 
it's not like coffee like coffee it makes you feel like like it kind of dries out your skin like it's just like it dehydrates your skin and you feel really thirsty and then you kind of feel jittery a little bit like if you're super sensitive to caffeine like me it makes you feel jittery and i just don't like that feeling all the time but sometimes don't get me wrong i get like a kick out of it i'm like i just want to feel jittery but mm, that's when i'm just being in a bad mood um but when i'm in a good mood and yeah i don't want to feel like that so um yeah i love my matcha because matcha does not ever make me feel like i'm schizophrenic matcha does not make i don't know if that's gonna get me canceled so let me take that back matcha does not make me feel like i'm just this other person you know it just makes me feel like i'm still me like i'm i'm, I'm still cruising through life it doesn't make me feel like i'm speeding at 180 miles per hour nothing like that so shout out to matcha i just love it um yeah michael matcha be ready so i have my tortillas here and y'all i love that these grocery stores are now making these tortillas like this like like they cook it for a little bit but not all the way porque mm, they just they're just so delicious like you want a tortilla that is like cooked but not all the way cooked because when you put it on the comal it's nice and fresh and ready for you but the, these tortillas is like you see this anyways don't look at my comal it's, it's all janky i know but it gets the job done so then i'm gonna do two tortillas today because i'm gonna just eat my huevos because that what i made today that's like a salad usually i have like a little frijoles like beans and something with it but i'm gonna be too full eating all that frijoles and that's too much so mm. okay so now i'm gonna bring my plate over here you guys can see how my eggs turned out So, uh, they kind of like look a little bit burnt or whatever. Don't mind that. It's still going to be good. Okay. I'm not no um, Chef Ramsay. I am Chef Le Ruti. A little breakfast looks like. Okay. Now, I just put my tortillas on the side like this. And then... Oh, my other tortilla is about to burn. So, I'm gonna just watch my show for right now and then, yeah, just enjoy my lunch because I'm starving. Sometimes I be eating with my hands. I think I fell asleep last night because I do not remember falling asleep last night. Well, obviously I fell asleep, but like I'm saying, watching the show, because I do not remember none of this. Do you guys hear this mutt? Rocky, shut up! Driving me nuts! I love my dog, but he's a lot. He's just so like, he's 90 pounds, you know? So he's like, he's just a lot. He's really a lot. All right, y'all. I'll see you later because I'm eating. Bye.